Hello, everyone. Welcome to Weigh In Wednesday. This will be week 10 of Weigh Ins. So I was cautiously optimistic, and it seems to have paid off. Um, last week, I was at a plateau uh, or a scale malfunction. Not sure which, but I wasn't going to dig that deep into it. So um, this week, I did feel kind of like I should tighten up my game a little bit. So I made a few adjustments. Um, I cut back on some of the potatoes. It's fall, they taste good, but man cannot live by potatoes alone. So I, I cut back a little bit on those. Um, I did more scratch cooking this week. So um, I had some prepared meals, but they were prepared by me. So I made some like scratch pasta and vegetable type stuff. Um, just pulling some things out of the cabinets that I could try to throw together, lean meat, vegetables, a grain usually, and tried to portion them out into like entree size um, things that I could just throw in the microwave or that I could eat um, as the first few hundred calories uh, before I sit down actually for dinner uh, for that part of the fast. So that was good too. That's more quality control for the ingredients. I did add some more veggies, uh, which was something I, again, had get, gotten away from. I always like Every other week, I get away from eating vegetables, and they're good for you, and I do like them. So I roasted off an ass ton of green beans in the oven, which was good. I also roasted off some uh, broccoli that I got frozen on the cheap, and that was really good, too. So I had some green veggies on hand. Um, mixed up the fruits that I've been eating, too. Watermelon is sadly on its way out. Um, I have to mention watermelon later, too, just by the by. Um, but pineapple looked good. Um, had some grapes. Little of this, little of that. Also, there is a, there's a couple different things that get called salvage grocery stores, uh, discount grocery stores. And I don't mean like all these are save a lot. It's locally, we call it uh, scratch and dent. Uh, there's product that they sell there that either the boxes are a little dented. Um, the product might be a few days expired. Sometimes they're just overstock or maybe something on the pallet they were shipped in was damaged and so the rest of them get paired with it. At any rate, this place has a lot of uh, vegetarian, vegan, and organic products that I would never pay retail for. But a lot of times they're like ridiculously marked down. I'm not sure this place knows what the price is retail for a lot of these products. So I got a lot of things like black bean burgers, a four pack for like 79 cents. Um a big bag of like Thai stir fry with vegetables for like a buck, like ridiculous stuff. So I stocked the cabinets um, with all that kind of stuff. So I'll have healthier stuff around that I normally wouldn't um, free up the money for to buy as far as food. You know, I eat as healthy um, as I like pretty much. And I buy organic when it's the same price as anything else. But to put the extra money in, you know, I have other vices that I, I choose at the moment to foolishly, but frequently spend my money on. So, you know, life's a journey. We're, we're getting to the other vices, but right now we're, we're doing weight. So. so that was food. Exercise was nothing, nothing good, nothing bad. I went for a walk on Saturday to the grocery store and back. I went for another walk on Monday. I took Monday off from work uh, just to kind of keep my head together a little bit and had some other stuff going on. Didn't realize I was off work Friday for Veterans Day. So I uh, unwittingly took a long, you know, a very short week of working three days and then it's a weekend again. But um, aside from just doing the exercise, I find recently that I dance around the house intermittently. Uh, I'll pass by a mirror and just start doing a, usually dance routines from music videos that I know and I'm 35, so we can go back to like 95 and probably remember some of those things. And uh, so I, I do that. I don't track the calories. Fitbit is really hit or miss. I can swing my arm and it thinks that I'm walking. So, you know, gauge that for whatever it's worth. But uh, that's another bit of activity. So to the numbers, uh, last week I weighed in at 215 and that was a plateau from the week before. And I got on the scale and I was 213. So I lost two pounds uh, in the last week. So I was looking at the numbers. My starting weight on this journey was 272. I started this channel at 229 because historically that was my 
plateaued sort of area. I could go back and forth between the high 260s or 270 and or the low 230s. And I had done that every year for the past few years, but I never got below that. So that's when I started, um, started tracking it here. Uh, 213 is 59 pounds. I've lost 59 pounds. It's almost 60, um, which is a big number. That's twice what I usually would lose. Um, this has been going on as part of my lifestyle now for so long, uh, since about April. And that feels long to me for the kind of person who's not always the most reliably consistent when it comes to trends. Um, I kind of go on and off things periodically to have put in some commitment and stayed this long surprises me. And the fact that it's still working, I'm not losing weight as fast. It went from two and a half pounds a week to two pounds to one and a half. Um, I'm not putting up those big calorie deficits because I don't need as much food because I don't weigh as much as I did. So I'm going to have to either up activity or eat less uh, to keep those pounds coming off as fast. I'll decide how I want to go about doing that. Maybe I'll just keep it going slow. You know, I don't have a you know terminal illness, so I'm not trying to like get to a certain weight before I die. You know, all things being relative, I will live a bit longer and will have time to lose the rest of this weight. I don't need to lose it by New Year's or anything. So non-scale victories, two of them came at work. I work on the first floor, have to go to the third floor a lot. No handicap access in the building that I work in, so we take the stairs. Um, previously, like, uh, let's say before April of this year, I would almost die getting to the top of those stairs, huff and puff and can't breathe, but this time, no issue. Now I can make it up there. I can almost sprint up the stairs. Uh, we have company vehicles that we use, like a, a fleet of them, and they're all VWs, and they're all very small. And if it was parked in the garage, I'd have to, like, almost get someone to back the car out so I could get in because I couldn't open the door wide enough uh, against the, the garage door to sneak into the car. And then even getting out, I had to push the seat all the way back um, and down. Now, doesn't matter if a four foot eleven, you know, 95-pound person has been driving before me. I can still sneak. Now, granted, my knees are up to the, you know, my chin, but it's not that I'm too big to fit in. It's probably more that I'm too tall now. So that's cool too. And the last non-scale victory, uh, Mark is eating healthier again. Uh, I've been putting food out for him to try and some of it floats and some of it sinks. He is now on to watermelon, just as it has gone out of season. So I do think we will have the added expense of buying watermelon, which I'm all for. I love it. Um, but that's the fruit he's kind of grown to now. So, you know, that's a victory uh, for him that he's doing better. And it's a victory for me also. Incidentally, he is a dear super partner is out right now doing the laundry. It's a very cold day today. It snowed yesterday. And he's doing the laundry and going to the pharmacy and doing all that stuff, which allowed me to take a long, hot shower after I got home from work and film this. So... Shout out to him. So that's way in Wednesday. That's how we're rolling. Um, feel free if you can uh, check out the video I put up yesterday. I was also in bed then and I was talking about eating, you know, weight loss journey, bed, eating in bed. Nah. So um, thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, uh, like, leave comments below. If you have any suggestions about anything that you'd want to hear about um, or topics that you think would be interesting, leave a little message. Um, I'm always open to suggestions and I'm relatively shameless. So anything that you have questions for me about, just let me know and um, we'll take it from there. So thanks for tuning in and I'll check with y'all soon.